Hello, I'm George Hutchings, better known as the Shoe Man, and I've learned that there are a million people out of water in Kenya, and I turn new shoes into drinking water. In fact, we raised 156,000 pounds of shoes last year, and this lady, Mary Thompson, sent an email to all the schools in Parkway. And we had a big party when the when the wells came in, and uh, here's a lady carrying water on her head just like we baptized, or not baptized, but we launched the rigs and named them the, the uh, uh, lifesaver. Here's this lady, she's asking, are you, you see my situation, will you drive on by? Here's a, a bean field all burned up. These ladies dug 20 holes just like this one, trying to find water. That's 15 feet down and they hit bedrock and they did 20 of them. I'm wondering, can I go down in this hole and here's a rickety ladder. If, will it hold a 200 pound man? It did and I'm digging for water but it really is bedrock. Here we always have to play with the kids. I had a party and, and pick on the big boy. We do an arm wrestle. Challenged him to 20 push-ups and I did 30. <laughs> and here we're giving water and maize to the people to keep them going. Here's eight miles away where they get their water from. The ladies up in the corner, this is a dried up riverbed and uh, they get water to drink and here's water for animals and garden. Even the animals are getting thin. Uh, uh, they get a bath once every three months and all I can say about this water is yuck. Here they are trying to get water out of that little bitty spring and notice the clarity of the water and notice all of the, the uh, oh my, in Kenya either you have to be strong or you die. And this lady is saying, are you just gonna drive on by? Now uh, there's a field that's usually green, now it's brown. We found a spring and we uh, wanted to taste the water. It looked very clear. The lady's gathering the water, so I put some water in my hat, took a suck, and then I put it over on my head. And then that was so much fun to take a bath in it. I cranked it up and put it on some of the kids. They love the attention that you can give them. Kids are great everywhere you go. They love the attention. Then I found this is an outhouse directly up the hill from where I was playing in the water. 13-year-old woman, a 10-year-old child, all uh, taking water. These men have been drilling or digging this well for two and a half months and no water. It's a dangerous job. They bring the man up and out. He loved my shirt and my hat. I gave him my shirt, but I kept the hat. And these kids are watching this work, learning how to work by watching the men, the, the backbone of Kenya. Now they are pulling this big rock up out. First they brought the man, then the rock. And this six-year-old girl is carrying water. Notice the the rocks in the background, notice the, sh the shoes. This this is the pail that they bring up water in, but they don't stop, they overcome. They put a yellow lid from another can in it and they lower that down and bring up dirt. There's a pile of dirt right straight from the hole and here's another pile of dirt straight from the wall. And now we have a school of 600 kids. They have not had water for 10 years. They have a broken well. A few miles right now, about half a mile away, they have water like this that comes from a well. It's totally dirty. This well only has water six inches deep, so it's dry. We drilled and we got water at 65 feet and we put water on there in one week. We have a St. Louis connection now. These men delivered the water, they get Cardinal baseball hats and it's time to celebrate. Anytime you drink, you, you, you hit water, it's time to celebrate. We're capping the well. Notice the man doesn't even have a pair of shoes. This is concrete around it. And the, the fate of every man is they don't want to be forgotten. So I took this picture. Here we go, Cockamega throws a party. We plant a tree, we celebrate, and they gave me a savings account. That rock is hollow, chills it out. I'm supposed to break it when I fill it up. The women do a dance. The kids come out and do skits, poetry, math. Uh, the officials make uh, speeches to us, and uh, they ask, are we gonna come back, or are we just gonna drive on by? I can't talk to that woman because it would be a feeble promise but I have a resolve that I'll be back and the rigs will come with me. Yes, sir. And bring in a rig that will drill 800 feet through rock. 
It's called the Lifesavers. And uh, the water comes with us. Uh, these men will drill 200 wells in the, in the next year, providing water for 120,000 people. Thank you. I'm George the Shoeman Hutchings. Catch me at shoeman.org or at facebook.com. But uh, get in touch and we'll drill a well together. Thank you for listening.